sends a team of celebrities to investigate paranormal activity in a severely haunted location. We gave them ghost hunting equipment. We gave them until sunrise. And then we left them all alone. I'm about to completely pass out. Oh my god, what's that agony? This is my worst nightmare. I feel a little impending doom. My hands have gone completely numb. Anybody picking up anything? Oh, okay, wait a minute. It smells like burning wood. Whatever I experience in there, I never want to experience again. Hey, can you help me for a second? Oh, God, yes. Oh. Ow. Oh, out of your <laughs> 10 4, she's on level four. Adrian? All right, shut up. Are you okay? All right, shut up. I'm inside. We are open inside this room. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. There's something in here with He's us. He's very close. What the hell is that right there? We're really hooked up to some power. Let me out of here! Oh my god, this place looks creepy. <laughs> this is creepy. Adrian thinks she could have busted out. Adrian's wrong. <laughs> Hi, <laughs> sweetheart. How are you? Good to see you, beautiful girl. God, you guys aren't even oh, in jail yet. You. You're cool. I can already <laughs> see how this night's going to go. <laughs> Come on, shower scene. I saw that movie. Oh, wait, I have a letter I'm supposed to read. Oh, yeah. yeah. I have it. Thank you, dear. These are our instructions? I don't know exactly what they are. They said, and I can't open it until now. Welcome to Celebrity Paranormal Project. Tonight, yeah. you and your fellow team paranormal investigators will be entering the maximum security prison known as The Walls. This prison was built in 1893 by the prisoners who would soon be incarcerated here. For 99 years, this prison dispensed the harshest punishments imaginable to the most violent killers, rapists, including death by electrocution and murder at the hands of their fellow inmates. Even though these convicts were dragged from their cells years ago, their ghosts remain behind, still doing time at the walls. Follow the enclosed map to your base camp, located in the prison's administration building. Danny Bonaduce, Ghost Hunter. I played Danny Partridge in the Partridge Channel. I would have to say that I am a skeptic about the paranormal, but only because I personally have never seen it. I don't immediately class classify everybody that has seen it a liar. So I'm I'm open to it. I just have no personal first-hand experience of the paranormal. Are we ready? My motivation in being here is that I plan to convince Adrian that the only way to appease the spirits is to have sex with me. So that's what I'm doing here. Ladies first. Come on. <laughs> Is that like solitary confinement Closed. or did they have chickens in there? I don't know. <laughs> Are those my only two options? <laughs> you never know. Some people need eggs. Hello, my name is Adrian Curry. You may know me from America's Next Top Model, The Surreal Life, My Fair Brady 1 and 2, and whatever else I'm doing in my life right now. Where I'm from is called Prison Town. We have six places of imprisonment where I'm from, so this is very fitting. Those who are susceptible and those who believe are normally the ones that get touched by paranormal activity. I will probably be the only believer tonight. This is disgusting. Ew, it's creepy. Remember, we have each wow. other. Oh yeah, that's comfort. God, this place is creepy. Is it? Nice. That's our base camp. Hey, it's decent. All right. Yay. I can do this. Oh, wow. look at this. What's this? This is yeah. what happens when you get electrocuted. I know. Isn't that disgusting? Christopher Knight, formerly of the Brady Bunch and most recently of My Fair Brady, most recently owned by Adrian. You know, I, I can't say that I'm a believer in the paranormal, and I can't say that I'm a skeptic in the paranormal. I would love to know that paranormal stuff actually does exist. It sort of makes sense, but I need proof. All right, we have to go around. Everybody needs to practice saying jinkies. 
Scratch, look here for one minute. Yeah? Jinkies? No, What's I just keep getting close up to your boobs. <laughs> Jinkies, it's Scooby Doo adventure. Oh my god, you oh, totally right. are, have hard nipples. Do I? You totally hard nipples. <laughs> my name is Gretchen Bonaducci, and um, I'm married to Danny. I do not believe in the paranormal whatsoever, nothing. I've never seen anything weird. I've never seen something I couldn't explain. So I, I just don't believe it. I think that's kind of why I'm here. It would be interesting to actually witness something. Yeah, I'm, I'm very curious to see what will happen. All right, tell us what to do. Welcome to Base Camp. This computer will guide you on your investigations as you explore the hauntings of the Wall's maximum security prison. Over 1,000 prisoners were incarcerated here at any one time. Every one of them was either serving life locked in a cell no more than five feet wide or awaiting execution on death row. 120 prisoners were put to death in this electric chair. One of the most notorious was serial killer Leon Paleboy Raymer, executed for killing six people, Leon claimed that the Bible told him he must claim seven lives to purify his soul. And they say his ghost still lurks death row, looking for his last victim. The threat of death extended far from the execution chamber. Prison gates were a source of constant violence, armed with weapons carved out of everyday items. George Gratzer, a hitman for the Aryan Brotherhood, killed over 20 inmates in this prison. He killed 20 inmates? Now. His ghost wanders the cell block where he met his own death when he fell off the fourth floor catwalk. Oh, To maintain order, new punishments were devised, like locking up prisoners in a concrete chamber called a hot box for days at a time, where temperatures would rise up to 120 degrees. Jeez. For some prisoners, it turned into a death sentence, and their cries to be set free still echo to this day. Thanks. Dun, dun, dun. Your mission tonight is to determine which of the four areas you will investigate is the most paranormally active. This area is called the heart of the haunting. You know, how abnormal do they want stuff? The guy from the Brady Bunch and the guy from the Partridge family are in prison together. <laughs> That's odd enough right there. <laughs> Here we go, ready? Let's go. This investigation will take you to the cell block where a prisoner's spirit seems to relive his violent death time and time again. As a team, select one couple to conduct the investigation. Let's uh, flip a coin. Yeah. Do we have a coin? coin? Yeah, I do. Well, they let us in with I'm a sure coin. I'm sure Danny wants to be heads. Here's a quarter. <laughs> you want to be heads? Daddy, do you remember when you were funny? OK, you be yeah. heads. Yes. All right, so we're heads. Seconds ago. And yeah, we're heads in your tails. Oh, tails. <laughs> tails. Tails. Here we go. We're clicking on Chris and Andrew. This is so cool. I'm so excited. All right, here we go. Chris, take the EMF meter. And sack, sack A. A. Don't forget <laughs> to bring your sack. Adrian definitely is a believer. And she'll freak out. She'll be the most freaked out. Adrian will just sense that they're there. And they'll be telling me that, you know, that I missed something, or, you know. And then hold it against me, that I'm insensitive for not seeing the ghost. I got uh, sack A. If there's a ghost, I want it to be nice to me. I don't want to hear, like, die, bitch, and stuff. Wish us luck. I do. Got Good to luck, speed. you guys. We're behind you 100%. Be careful, you guys. Uh, be careful. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we're confirming we're outside. We need direction. Walk down the hallway until you reach the intersection with the stairs on your right. We are at that point. Walk into the barred area that leads to the yard. The sky is red. Look to your right for a large metal door underneath an overhang. The door is on the large building to your right. We have located it, and we're walking up to it. Open the door and walk inside the building. <laughs> this is the prison, and Adrian is whimpering. <laughs> I did not whimper. Would you walk through this prison by yourself? I would, but I'd be scared. I'd do it. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. It is uh, extraordinarily creepy here. All right, here's a little background for you. In a prison full of hardened criminals, no one was worse than George Gratzer. Over a five-year period, Gratzer reportedly murdered 20 fellow inmates. In 1981, Gratzer's intended target, a prisoner in cell 19 on the fourth floor of cell block C, was ready for him. 
He stabbed Grouser repeatedly with a sharpened spoon, then pushed his would-be assassin over the railing outside the cell. Grouser fell to his death four floors below. Since then, the catwalk outside cell 19 has been a site of numerous accidents, and more prisoners have fallen or been hung from cell 19 than any other place in the prison. Yeah, it's a lovely story. Choose one team member to continue this investigation to where George Grasner fell. The other team member will remain on the cell block floor. You really want to go? Why not? I'm going to have to do something anyway. Might as well start out the night with a bang. God bless her. Adrian wants to do it. Yeah, baby. That's my girl. Chris, you will remain on the cell block floor. Adrian, walk up to level four. OK, there is like lead chips of paint falling everywhere, and it's really grody. I am up here, and I smell something that smells like burning wood. You smell burning wood? <laughs> That's what it kind of smells like. I'm it smells like sweet bumps. cedar. That's the prisoners. They never saw anything like you before. Got a little burning wood right here. There's writing on the inside of the cell, and the cell doors are uh, definitely pretty creepy. Adrian, I want you to open the sack. I found a steel-looking cowbell in the sack. It's a ghost catcher or a spirit wind chime. Hang the ghost catcher on the catwalk to warn you if a spirit is present outside the cell. When the spirit passes by the ghost catcher, it will chime. All right, I, it is steady and it is ready. Wait, wait, wait. There's a dummy in here with a uniform on. Ghosts respond to familiar situations. By reenacting events from a ghost past, you may trigger a stronger response than you would otherwise. Will you please reenact the death of George Gratzer? A mannequin has been placed here to help you perform this reenactment. This is sadistic. I am so freaking out, and I can't believe I'm going to do this. Chris? Yes? I love you. I love you too, baby. Good luck. Just keep in mind, the guy really died this way. You're going to see just what it looks like. That's awesome. He's very heavy. Well, he's going to hit rather hard then. Oh, my god. Wow. He's busted into a million little pieces. All right, so you have, you have killed uh, Mr. Gratz. I have not killed anybody. Yes, he is dead again. I'm getting raised electromagnetic interference right, right now up. for a reading. Shut up. The bell has started to move, and it is not for me hitting it. Wow, look at that bell go now. I've got goosebumps, baby. He is but definitely I... here by this meter. This meter is now pegged. OK, I'm passing the ghost catcher. And oh my god, I just definitely heard a noise. <laughs> Are you kidding? OK, no, I'm not kidding. I'm my pants, and I'm not kidding. Your investigation is complete. Return to Papa. I'm coming, Daddy. I'm a great base commander. You are. You're the best, I'm the base, best commander base commander ever. ever. I will go on record and say that. Hi. Oh, here we go. She made it back alive. How was it? That sucked balls. I didn't like it at all. Really? Tell me what you felt and saw. Tell me the whole deal. I was not, no, I, I was totally fine until a few started happening. Were you scared? Freaked. I was totally freaking out. <laughs> no, is that fear or like a, a, a feeling of impending doom, like something was going on? Dread. Happen? It wasn't fear because I, I, I felt, it was like a heaviness. You know what I'm saying? A heaviness on your chest. Adrian is very impressionable. She's a great believer in the paranormal. Uh, she's very tapped into all sort of emotional schemes. So I, I, you know, I have a feeling that this is going to be a very interesting evening just watching over Adrian. All right, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, this investigation will take you to the hot box where the ghost of a prisoner thinks he is still in prison. Danny and Gretchen will conduct this investigation. Adrian, you will be base commander. Woo, we're up. The hot box. You guys are going to sweat your balls yeah, off. Yeah, they would send it to the hot box, wouldn't they? All right, guys. Have fun. We are locked and loaded. Happy Ready hunting. Thank you. Gretchen's a super skeptic, but I think a creepy old building of any kind is going to throw her, but I think she's a very serious skeptic. All right, base commander, we are outside the door. Hey, why are you out in front, honey? Because I'm not scared. 
Okay. That's why I'm first. Right. Well, I always feel safe with Danny. Even if something weird happens, he'll make sure that I'm fine no matter what. All right, you guys are going to want to turn right and staying on the pavement, walk forward towards the main gate. Inside of the fenced area is a small cement structure. Turn left and walk inside the fenced area. Ooh, look at that little... If I am not mistaken, we are outside the hot box. So it's just a spooky little tiny cement cinder block thing with a steel door. So you guys are breaking up really bad. Obviously, there's some sort of activity going on around you. I mean, base commander. ask them to make sure to, to yeah, win the... We are outside the uh, hot box. Uh, it's a creepy area fenced in. You can pretty much tell what prisoners went through inside this box. It must have been agony. All right, folks. One punishment for extremely bad behavior was solitary confinement in this hot box. So named because the heat of the sun on the stone walls and metal doors made the temperature inside rise to over 120 degrees. Many prisoners died from the intense heat. To this day, visitors to the prison have reported hearing loud bangs and muffled cries from the hot box. But when they opened the large metal door, there would be no one inside. Oh, jeez. The ceiling of the hot box is dripping with condensation, which is completely eerie. It's like it's sweating. There's marks on the wall that could be anything from, well, it just makes me think blood. Okay, that's gross. Ask him if it's ectoplasma. Chris wants me to ask you if it's ectoplasma. You know, you're a retard, right? Can you stop trying to be base commander, man? You'll have your turn. Okay. Chill the oh, out. I want to be man. base sleeper. Ghosts respond to familiar situations by reenacting events from a ghost past. You may trigger stronger responses from it. As a ch team, choose one team member for this reenactment. Danny's going to do it. Danny, you have been chosen to reenact confinement inside the hot box. Gretchen, please lock that door. Okie dokie. Locking and loading. Jeez. Ew. All right, I am locked inside the hot box. All right, Gretchen, return to the main building. Uh, excuse me, she is leaving and I am bolted inside this room. Okay, yeah, this is not cool. He's locked in that hot box. Honey, are you gonna be okay in there? Well, uh, how long am I going to be locked in here? I don't really like you locked in that box, though, I have to say. All right, Danny, before you start, you will turn off your radio. Gretchen will come and get you when this step is complete. All right, I am turning my radio off now and starting the reenactment. still alive. Hey! Somebody let me out of this cage! Hey! Let me out! You know what, you guys? I'm going back. Let me out! Honey, yeah. can you hear me? Yeah. I'm unlocking it right now. Tell, tell Danny, it sounds like he's done this Press. before. I am base commander. Well, I'll just go out to the bathroom and wait. I mean, I'm still here. Are you here to let me out? What was that? I don't know. What the hell was that? Wow, Danny, you are pouring sweat. Well, it's the hot box. What the hell was that noise when we went to get out? Yeah, I heard it too. Uh, so how was that in that box? It got really intense because, you know, it's not like you live in there and then you die. You start the process of dying probably a couple of days of dehydration before you die. It must have been agony. 
Okay, baby, you ready? Come on, honey. I got a little nauseous in the box. Yeah, no, I didn't like that at all. I don't think there's anything to enjoy out of that. That was like every fear I've ever had. Any sort of confinement is my worst nightmare. They have returned. Crazy shirtless tattoo man in the hot box. Holy gee! Congratulations! That was awesome. Woo! I stink. Well, how did you? How did you feel? I mean, I mean, you, you, you just, just creepy, right? I was gnarly, man. I, my stomach's turning because I don't want to leave again. I don't yeah, because they've got you in your, in their sights. See, we yeah. we are a little bit harder for them to deal with, but you, you're fresh meat. You're ghost meat. I'll puke. See, that's awesome. They love a little puke. All right, what's next? Let's this go. investigation will take you to death row, where the ghost of a killer still haunts for another victim. <laughs> Adrian and Danny will conduct this investigation. Chris, you finally will be base commander. He would, he couldn't take it. The whole time he's all like, get, let, let me. I'm like, get the f out of here. I have no idea how my husband will handle things. Isn't that sad? It's like, let's play the newlywed game. Oh, I don't know. You guys are up. You have your tools, you have the EMF meter, yeah. and you have- I got my cigarette and I got my inhaler. If I had my choice between going to a penitentiary full of dead people or the people I've actually been to jail with, I'm going with the dead folks every time. All right, exit the base camp. Confirm when you have left base camp. Go, guys. We'll miss you. <laughs> All right, we've left base camp. We are heading out into the yard even as we speak. Okay, we are at the pallets. Beyond the pallets is a low building with a cage around its entrance. We are going inside. It's really creepy. These are the death row cells where prisoners awaited their execution. You were looking for cell number three. Oh my God. What the hell was that? Okay, Holy well, we're shit. totally hearing some shit. We are totally hearing some shit. In here. Please move us through this. Hang on one second. This cell held serial killer Leon Paleboy Raymer as he awaited execution for the murders of six people. Leon spent his time writing on the walls of his cell with a piece of chalk. He would spend hours and hours writing just one thing, the number seven. Leon insisted the Bible had told him that he needed to kill seven people before he died to purify his soul. This guy creeps me out, man. On the day of his execution, Leon left a message on the walls of his cell. I'm not finished. Many believe that his spirit cannot rest until he has claimed a seventh and final victim. All right. Uh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, I got it. Relax. Because that's what I thought I heard the first time, and you called it clanking. There's something growling in here. I hear, I hear crying behind you, Danny. Is, is Adrian crying? No, Adrian's crying, but she's all right. She's all right. <laughs> Stone scared, paranoid, like a <laughs> That's all I gotta say. All right, well, gather yourselves because here's your next direction. No. Reenact events from the ghost's past. Adrian, you will reenact Leon Raymer's imprisonment in his cell. Adrian, enter the cell now. Danny, remain in the hallway and make sure you have the sack. Confirm when Adrian is in the cell. Adrian is in the cell, but slightly hyperventilating. <laughs> Now, Adrian, I, you know, I am uh, going to switch this up and put Danny in that cell if you cannot do this, but it asks me right now. Danny, close the cell door with Adrian inside. Confirm when the cell door is closed. First, I'm going to confirm if this is OK with Adrian. Absolutely. I don't want her to have to do stuff that's really going to freak her out. Yeah, too late, bro. I'm fine as long as you don't leave me. Here we go. I'm closing the door. You are locked in, darling. Danny, open the sack and report to base camp what you find inside. You got, oh, here we go. Chalk. Give the chalk to Adrian. Are you okay, Adrian? Oh, I've never been better, darling. You're a trooper. Okay, now, Adrian, you will now use a technique called spirit writing. First, write the name Leon Raymer. I feel total impending doom. You will take the chalk in your left hand and rest it in the middle of the wall. When you're ready to begin the spirit writing, close your eyes and breathe deeply. Concentrate on the number seven and the word finish and attempt to let the spirit of Leon guide your hand. Danny, wait in the guard room so that you do not disturb Adrian during the spirit writing. No way, man. 
I don't care if I'm tail this I can't do that. All right, stay close to her, Danny. I don't want her to be freaked out. He can go out of sight, but he can't go far. All right, I'm right here. It's all good. OK, Adrian, it's all to you. I'm going to be quiet now. Please. Okay, what was that? I don't know what that was. Oh my god, oh my god. I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere. But that's really odd. Shut you up. need out. Shut up. Okay. Do you want me to open that right now? Yes. All right, stay with me. Just come with me. Come it won't me. open. What the hell was that? Stay with me. There's something in here with us. I don't want to go see what it is. All right, well, I don't want to find it on our way out either. It's not, you know, I don't know that it's bad, but it's alive. I'm out of the cell. I'm out of the cell. I had to come out of the cell. My hands have gone completely numb. I'm not sure if I'm about to just completely pass out or what, but I'm going numb. What, what the hell is that right there? What does that say? The first thing that I wrote, there's clearly what looks like either a question mark or number seven. Whatever I experience in there, I never want to experience again. I got you. Let's go. I can't believe I did that. Wow, that sounded creepy. Poor thing. Dude, there was, there was, was, a major there was something in there with us. Like, there was, first there was the pipes banging that we all hear, but yeah. then there was like growling or something carbon based. No, that I am as skeptical that there is nothing to it as I am that there is. I, you know, I can lean either way. You show me one thing, I'm a big believer. I'm not gonna try and explain it. Any of my ghost hunter gizmos go off the bat, I'm all believing. I felt like a prisoner. I cannot imagine 23 hours a day, seven days a week, for three years. So what I'm thinking is that he's killed six people. He's still around. He was the seventh. He's not certain if he was the seventh or not. He sort of dawns on him that he did this to himself, right? right? He Maybe he is the death. seventh. He, he wants to death. be told if it's okay, could he be the seventh? That's interesting, because he caused his own death, yet he's not the arbitrator. He didn't Leon, kill himself. You, it he is okay. Go to peace. Go to peace and relive another life. You guys aren't going to believe this. It just came up. Danny, Chris, and Adrian will conduct this investigation. Gretchen will be your base commander. How bad is it? This investigation will take you back to death row where hundreds of prisoners lost their lives. We're going back to that same place? Same place, same cell. Oh. Danny takes sack C. Uh, exit base camp. Base commander, we're moving along. Unless you have something different to tell us, we're going the same way we went earlier. Walk down the row of cells to cell number three. Your investigation starts here, where you will begin a detailed reenactment in an attempt to coax the numerous spirits that haunt the execution chamber. As a team, all three of you will reenact the formal steps for carrying out an execution. Chris, you will be the death row prisoner. Danny, you will be the prison guard. Adrian, you will be the executioner. Danny, open the sack and take out what's inside. I have got shackles, a rag, and an envelope. Adrian, walk okay. further down the hallway until you find the electric chair in the room at the end. Why, why more small rooms for Adrian? I am inside. I am in the small room. Thank you. you think Are you guys almost so done? Funny? Up higher? Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, dude, come on. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! There she comes, oh the running god, kids. No. What was it, baby? What? That. What was it? I just heard like a whisper right next to my ear. What was it? That. I don't know, it was like us. So, I got the button goes. I got the You alright? I'm not going back there by myself. I'll walk with you guys. 
Come on out, prisoner. All right. I'll go ahead of you guys as long as you see me. Dead man walking! Stop it. All right, prisoner. Take your uh, seat in the other chair. This is a real chair. Really hooked up to some power somewhere. Ghost-like plasma power. <laughs> I'm sweating so bad. Oh, jeez. Okay, gun. The door is locked. My camera's out of juice. My camera just ran out of juice. I really don't like this part. Chris's camera has run out of juice, and he's not all that pleased since some weird electrical anomalies are happening that he's now wearing the death cap. I can imagine. I'm happy that's not me. That does not sound fun. Uh, okay. Inmates always knew when an execution was taking place. The moment the switch was thrown, not only would the lights dim throughout the prison, but many inmates reported hearing distant screams or seeing glimpses of the condemned on the catwalk outside their cell. Danny will go to cell block C to observe for paranormal activity in other parts of the prison at the moment of execution. Did anybody close the door? Cause we're closed in here. Yeah, he, no one closed that door. Well, that door is stone closed and weighs about 600 pounds. Are you trying to tell me I'm going in this building alone? I am, ooh, jeez. I am inside cell block C and it is creepy as That's where we were earlier. We are confirming hearing many noises in here. Danny, this will be the moment to pay particular attention for any paranormal activity in the cell block. Leon Raymer, you have been convicted of six counts of murder, which you have been sentenced to death by electrocution in the electric chair. Well, this is the seventh killing, and my job is complete. I go in peace. I just want to confirm with everybody that I think this is extremely wrong. Adrian, turn the wheel clockwise. Confirm that you've turned up the wheel. The wheel has been turned to 97. Hey, there's a bell ringing in here. That's that bell they set up earlier. Oh, Are you guys ready? Getting worried, you weren't answering me. Tell us, Danny. Yeah. The only thing yeah. was, I could hear this bell. I could hear this beeping, like a truck backing up. And that's when either I remembered or Gretchen said, "Oh, it's that bell from you guys." And you see, and you looked up and you saw the bell. No, I did not see. I never saw it. I, I thought it was oh, completely yeah. disrespectful what we were doing, in every way imaginable. Out of that electric chair. Well, acting like I'm reenacting a death of a guy who's already paid his dues and are paying them elsewhere. I just find it really sadistic and kind of up. I need to really just tone it down tonight because I'm a little scared. You have completed your investigation of the Walls Maximum Security Prison. As a team, discuss your findings and decide which area of your investigator is the most paranormally active. Once you have reached your decision, click on the location that your team has determined is the heart of the haunting. So I gotta go even though I don't want to go back there, death row. 
So what do you guys think? I think death row. Death row. Yeah. That was bad. Discuss with uh, which member of the team made the strongest connection with the spirits at the walls. Well, the most activity, I think, certainly went to Adrian. Uh, Wait, next. what did you just experience with the whole cowbell and The bell ringing, and the weird part was the crickets would just stop all of a sudden, like, that's it was. That was I, weird. Honestly, and I'm not saying that's because I'm I didn't hear anything like that. That's Well, then it's down to me and Adrian. Who's my I And we will fail this mission. Traumatic in one night. Then it's down to me and Adrian. It, it, We're too biased. From, so out, outside of who got the most connection, who is the I most feel, changed I, by that connection? Adrian. Yep, that's right. I hate you guys so much. How much hell do I have to go through? I can tell you this, if it asks for Adrian to go out alone, it ain't happening. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. uh, I think we all go together on this one, anyway. Oh, we'll see. Click on Adrian. Open the large wooden box in front of the desk. Take out what you find inside. Here's some kind of scroll. Bring the following items with you. The rolled up scroll from the wooden box. The artifact from the wooden box. Yeah. Oh, that must be the shift. Yeah, it's the shift. I don't really look at it as me in a spooky place with possible, some kind of possible danger as me and three other people. I look at it as me, and that's who I'll be protecting. Ready? Ready. Let's go. I have never in my life felt so faint. This is freaking hot. Oh, you ain't done, baby. Here's our favorite little room, and here's the glass it broke. Thing fell, but the light inside fell with it. But it couldn't have, there's not enough glass for that whole light. Wow, that is so weird. The book goes on the table. So I stand here. You're the conduit. You're the conduit, you're right there. I'm the key master. Unroll a large scroll and spread it on the table. And this is the channeling scroll. Place the final mission object in the square in front of the conduct. Each investigator must read aloud the words written in the channeling scroll in their position in order to one through three. Go ahead in a circle and recite these words a total of three times. After the third reading, the spirit should be with you and ready to communicate with whatever. Got you up. Now we open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. You are not allowed to enter me, but you may hang out with us now through this token from your past. All right, wait a second. Uh, what do we think about it? What does that actually say? Enter me now through this token. And you don't want to say that? No. Do you want me to say it? Do you want to do it? I want to do what it says to do. All right, come over here then. Starting again. Yep. Okay, okay. that should be starting. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. We open the door to the world beyond. We call to a spirit trapped in this place. Enter me now through this token from your past. Do you know that you are dead? Nothing. Are there other spirits with you? I got nothing. Nothing. Are you angry or in pain? Did you hear, Did you hear that? that? That's a little bit of a scream. A yeah. Line. I'm going to go with yes, he's in pain. Do you want to hurt us? Uh, I don't believe in you at all, so, you know, if you're here, you should be. Holy me. That door just closed. I think he's talking to you, little miss. I don't believe in you at all. That's physical proof. Holy Toledo. You okay, sweetie? Did anybody hear that? You are no longer welcome here. Our circle is closed to you. Go and leave us in peace. Our circle is closed to you. Go and leave us in peace. Chris, can you get the table? And then I'll try to take it like that.
I'm gonna leave it here. Yeah. Alright, I wanna hang out. This is Thank you, Jesus. That was quite the experience, huh? Yes, it was. Creepy! I'm now able to say to someone who asks if I've ever had a haunting experience that I have. Perhaps the paranormal is something that one needs to take step by step. Today was baby steps. Oh, there goes my stomach. This might not be good. He did it on you. In your stomach. I'm so happy this is over. I feel like I drank all night and I'm about to blow chunks. I think he was around, but he didn't sense welcome. I was probably sending out that vibe. <laughs> I came in and I think I had the least amount of experiences because I was not a believer. I just had so much fun. I mean, I don't know if anybody else would categorize their time as fun, but, you know, I thought it was uh, a really interesting thing to do. I thought that was completely uh, successful. I'm completely glad so this is So much fun. Hey, rock, baby. Just the you best. Got it. I did not see the reasons for door slamming and things that sounded like moaning and stuff like that. I mean, that definitely happened, so is it haunted for sure? I don't know. Is there a bunch of stuff happened? I can't explain, absolutely. Here for keeping So the next away. time we get together, no, no ghost, and we'll just have a pleasant no. dinner. Well, she wants to come over and see my old house. We'll see if there's ghosts there. All right. Ghosts. <laughs> there's no ghosts. It is my opinion that this place is definitely haunted, but it is also my opinion that not all hauntings are true hauntings. I believe that there are impressions in time, events that were so large that it impresses itself on the very fabric around it, and that it could very well just be that. I wake up in some apartment building and I flip out, because obviously I've been drinking, didn't go home all night. I am screwed, because no matter what, I get wasted up and then I go home, you know? And I didn't go home. And I'm like, I gotta come up with some excuse, what do I do? I call Gretchen, I go, I'm so sorry, I don't know what I did, I'll be home in a little while. And I didn't even know really where I was. I said, I'm, I didn't mean to stay, I must have fallen asleep, I'm so sorry. And she goes, do you really not know what happened? I go, no. She goes, you live there. I kicked you out, we went there, we rented you an apartment, and you've been there for two days. <laughs>